Hello and welcome to Lucas Oil Stadium. I'm Joel A. Erickson. I'm joined, as always, by Nate Atkins. Colts beat the Steelers today 27-24 behind Joe Flacco and behind Anthony Richardson, to be fair. But Richardson comes out of it with a hit pointer. Uh, unclear what his status is going forward. The, the larger question is, this is another injury suffered on a running play. Yeah, he's gone through it. He's Last week we talked about how that was the first time he'd ever finished a win with the team. He's obvious, uh, often leaving these games with an injury, lower body injury often uh, these days. So uh, it seems it might have been just been precautionary. They were up 17 nothing. He wanted to come back in the game. He seemed to think he could possibly come back into the game. Uh, so we'll have to see. It's it's obviously they're they're trying to keep him healthy for the long term. That's bigger than any than any game this week, but it's it's still a concern. Also injuries on the defensive side I thought played a big role in the Steelers coming back. Kenny Moore already down. The, their d defensive ends are very, very banged up right now. Adam Gotsis, who is a defensive tackle on the practice squad, was playing defensive end at one point in this game. Uh, but they get the win. They get the win, and they, this is the second week in a row that they've taken advantage of a bad offense, really. Yeah, that's pretty much what it was. They, they just beat up the Steelers up front, the same thing they did against the Bears, and you just got to give credit to some of the guys who fought through it and stepped up. Daiwa Dangbo and, and Taekwon Lewis are two of them. Isaiah Land uh, kind of had his moments, even though he got caught with the penalty. Uh, this this did test their you – know, early in the season it was – Hard to buy into the defensive line when they rotated 10 and got gashed. But you're seeing some of that depth pay off the past couple of weeks. Colts are now 2-2, two and two, headed to their own personal house of horrors, my own personal house of horrors, the city of Jacksonville. For the Indy Star, I'm Joel Erickson. This is Nate Atkins. I'm a little sore, but, you know, feeling good. We got the W today. Uh, great execution by everybody on the field today. Uh, I think I'm going to be good. You know, just a little soreness. Uh, just my hip. My hip was hurting. You know, I tried to go back out there, but I just couldn't accelerate how I wanted to. So coach was like, you know, try not to you know, mess up the team right now. So I was like, you know, I'll, I'll just see it. When you're standing on principle, man, like just coming in and understanding that we we, we one of those teams that, that that's going to always fight, that got heart, and we are uh, dedicated to our craft and what we stand on and what we said we was going to do. And having guys like that who believe in what they say and, and do what they say is always the sky's the limit, bro. And I think we were just sustaining drives. Um, and, and I really think that that is the key. I mean, defense was getting stops, and, and uh, it was just going, like, our way. So. Just think uh, <clears throat> coming into this game, we just heard a lot about, you know, how great of a team they was. And, you know, obviously they were on a hot streak. Uh, but at the end of the day, it was all about us. And uh, we was able to make the plays that we needed to win the game. So It's awesome and to be going up. Uh, a guy that's been playing at an extremely high level for that, that long of a time, uh, it was a really good opportunity to go out and, you know, feel what it's like to play against one of the best defenses in the NFL. Um, and I think, you know, there's definitely ups and downs and stuff that you can look back and improve upon. Uh, but definitely, you know, a really, really awesome first day. Injury update, obviously AR has got a hip, JT had an ankle, and Taekwon elbow. Um, great team win. I'll tell you what, the guys were resilient all the way through. Took all four quarters. We knew it was. It was going to be a fist fight going against those guys, a damn good football team. Um, but to come out and finish the way we did, our defense out there, getting the stop there to end the game uh, was, was huge.